In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about infinite sets. An infinite set has a cardinality of Aleph No. Aleph is this symbol. It's a Hebrew letter, and it's used to indicate infinite cardinality of a set. Cardinality is a word we use to state how many elements are in a set. For example, if I had a finite set with three elements, it would have a cardinality of three. If I have a set with an infinite number of elements, it has a cardinality of Aleph Null. In order to show that a set has a cardinality of Aleph Null, it's necessary for us to establish a one-to-one -one correspondence between the set given to us and the set of counting numbers. Suppose we're given the following set. 1, 6, 11, 16, 21, and so on. The dots after 21 indicate that the set is going to continue on and on without stopping. In other words, infinitely. Our job is to establish a one-to-one -one correspondence between this set and the set of counting numbers, which is given as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on to n. The counting numbers are also called the natural numbers. Now here, when n equals 1, the corresponding number in the problem set is also 1. So again, when n equals 1, that corresponding value of our given set is also equal to 1. When n equals 4, we see that the corresponding value is 16. They are both the fourth elements of a set. Our job is to develop a general term for our problem set in the form of an expression that's going to represent the relationship between each counting number and its corresponding element in the set. Looking at our given set, or problem set, we can see that the difference between each number is 5. Coming up with the correct general term can be tricky. In our case, the correct general term is 5n plus x. And here's why. When 5n plus x, and that's 5n plus x equals 1. When 5n plus x equals 1, we can take our counting number 1, substitute it in, 5 times 1 plus x equals 1. That gives us 5 plus x equals 1. And then we subtract 5 from both sides. x equals negative 4. In other words, 5 times 1 minus 4 equals 1, which gives us 1 equals 1. So that statement works. We'll try that for each value of n. Let's try when n equals 2. So now we say 5 times our natural or counting number 2 plus x equals 6, because that's the corresponding value in our given set. That gives us 10 plus x equals 6, or x equals negative 4. Again, substituting negative 4 into our expression will give us a consistent result. 
you can work your way through and you'll see that this expression works for all values of n. Therefore, we've established a one-to-one -one correspondence between our given set, or problem set, and the set of natural numbers. In doing so, we've confirmed that our given set is an infinite set with cardinality aleph null. That's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful.